with Mr. Zam decision. And I said to the coach, just sign. Don't see uh, what inside the contract. Hai Assalamualaikum, selamat petang semua pada fans-fans Harimau Melaya Hari ini eksklusif sekali lagi Isyam bawakan untuk anda Kita bersama dengan salah seorang ejen ya, dia, dia ada pemain dia, dia ada coach yang berkelana di Liga Malaysia So dia pun juga bekas seorang pemain untuk Shah Alam Antlers FC So kita bersama dengan Sheriff Ahmad Mustafa Ataupun orang lebih kenali sebagai Sheikh, alright? Yes How are you brother? You good? I'm good, Alhamdulillah How about you and family brother? I'm good too. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. So you, my first question is, uh, maybe can you introduce yourself first? Uh, yes. Uh, my name is uh, Sharif Ahmad Mustafa. Uh, everybody know me as Shiko. You know, football name as usual. <laughs> so I'm from Egypt, uh, living in Malaysia for almost four to five years. Marriage in Malaysia too. So I've been playing in Thailand. Some of South Asia clubs, so starting working as a football agent for like five to six years already. Uh, loving to live in Malaysia. That's all about me. Okay, I uh, I heard that before you start your as a career agent, you also play for football professional, right? So why yes, you stop yes. and you choose to be a career agent? Uh, I start uh, to play overseas in Thailand, uh, some other countries. And uh, I, I got the time to, what you can say, like uh, satisfy about my, my, my career. Starting to be a football agent was one of my, uh, one of my uh, habits. So I, I, was, I was really uh, interested in this job because I have uh, some good connections with uh, coaches and players. So that's what made me start to do. So how long you... You've been a career football, a career football agent. Uh, around uh, five years going now. Five years, okay. So how you start during that uh, last five years? Yeah, the start was outside Malaysia, and oh. I came to Malaysia. So I had uh, the kind of uh, time I played with the Charlamanters. Yeah, that time Malaysian league uh, was the. Uh, one of the good leagues in the listing. So I was looking to do some deals in the league. So starting from here. Okay, so right now, how many players and coach under you uh, in Malaysia League? In Malaysia, we can say like, uh, as you know, Coach Frank, uh, with he, he was uh, under me also with the UITM last two years. I had a few good players under me uh, last few years. Malaysia, but currently I have uh, uh, my players in Benin and my coach. We can say, like, maybe in Benin, I have Osman Fani, I have Coach Frank, I have uh, Cordidon, but he left to uh, Philippines last week. So oh. currently I have my, my, this is only what I have in Malaysia. But also in Malaysia, I have uh, other deals I'm gonna do uh, deal transfer. Oh, outside Malaysia, also you have uh, your, your client, right? Yeah, so I'm going to work in Malaysia and I have uh, some of the clients from that too. Okay, recently, uh, Frank Hart is uh, your client, right, in Kantan as a coach. Yeah. So, yeah. on his reputation as a coach, you also read my interview, right, with Charlie before this. So, maybe you can comment a bit about that as a, your the comment about your client. Uh, okay, uh, for me, uh, as a football agent, I've been uh, playing football before. I don't like to speak negative about clubs and about players, okay? But I don't like uh, players being playing uh, with any uh, any clubs in Malaysia or any any other, you know, around the world. As a football uh, players, as an international player, there's no need to speak negative about anyone, even the workers, even the players, even the roommate. You, you can't speak, you know? There is like something to share, something to not share. So I was unhappy with the, the interview as well, but this is his, um, this is his uh, decision and his, uh, uh, you know, his, uh, uh, you know, he, I can say it depends on his style, you know, he can speak the negative things, but I don't like it because he also mentioned my coach because he stays with my coach only for a few days, I can say a few hours. 
and also, uh, you know, Clinton FC have a very good president, Mr. Zam. He have a lot of pressure last few years, but people don't know, like the fans don't know, really. He pay a lot of money for the team and uh, he do well for the team, but it's, it's not lucky at this moment. But everybody need to support the team. Uh, all the players need to, you know, be beside each other, support each other. I can say uh, Coach Frank uh, have a very hard job, but he gonna do well in the coming, uh, you know, two games. So what the what do you see uh, ability for Coach Frank that uh, you accept the Clanton offer? Uh, we have a few offers at that time. But uh, actually, uh, Mr. Zam, when he contact us and uh, he asked for the interest of uh, Clanton, it was uh, from uh, uh, starting the season. But that time, Coach Frank have another offers in Malaysia, but having came. So we have the chance to come as a technical director. But at the same time, we had the conversation to prepare as a head coach. Because I respect the coach uh, that time, the Korean coach, one of my good friends also. Also, his agent, one of my good friends. But as you know, football, sometimes you have a luck. Sometimes you don't have a luck, yeah? So that time I know the coach cannot be last long. So I told Coach Frank, you have to accept the over for now as a technical director. Sooner or later, maybe just less than one month, you're going to have the... I, 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 had, I had the feeling. So we, we was preparing to, to have this kind of a challenge, yeah? I know it's not easy, but... Nothing is difficult, yeah. Nothing impossible. You need to work hard. Uh, I heard in the from the owner Klantan that uh, the rule is if the five lose and yes. then they include in the contract before you sign. Hundred percent. Yeah, we uh, we we had it and we respect the team uh, decision. We respect Mr. Zam decision. And I said to the coach, just sign. Don't see uh, what inside the contract. Don't don't negotiate too much. Don't argue because we come to win. We don't come to lose. We don't come to draw. So if you scare from this article, you should not sign the contract, Coach Frank. He say so. I say just sign. So this is uh, what the clear decision that time. Okay, I want to ask you opinion because you also a uh, ex football player now is a agent. Do you think like a uh, player cannot critics about the club? about the maybe management what's your opinion about that like the players speak negative things a uh, negative thing yes okay uh, for me I, i've been a player i my salary been holding for three four months the coach don't put me inside to play first 11 i was the best in the team when i would play in thailand i can't go in social media i can't speak any bad things you know you need to keep you need to calm down you know always as we can say allah god will get for you the revenge, but in a good way, you need to know, uh, Malaysia is like small, very small in football. You don't have to speak any negative things because it will gonna make your reputation down. So I feel like any any professional football player go against club and speak all negative stuff. Uh, I, that, I don't agree about that. That's why I always warning my players to speak only good things. We'll never go on social media and speak against coach, club, management, because all of them, they, don't, they want the best. They don't want to lose. They don't want to delay the money. But you don't know, and nowadays the finance, all the money and the things in the clubs after COVID is going, you know, it's going uh, hard situations. So we need to be patient, you know. If you really come to sign with the club, you know you have a contract until end of the year, you're going to take your bank, you know. I know you have a family and everything, but you need also to be standing with the fans because fans being buying their own ticket and go watching the, the, the games and they don't have any salary from the club. They don't have any support. They still buy a ticket and go watch. So you need to betty the fans, not only, you know, doing hard against the club. But I respect all uh, players' decisions, but my players will never do that. Okay, you as a ex-footballer, now as an agent, so many rumors I hear about that. Uh, is it true that the Malaysia League pay the highest salary among the Asian league? Some clubs, not all. Some, Some clubs, clubs, not all. Yeah, we cannot speak about Johor because Johor is very far. You know, TNG uh, and uh, all of the professional work there. Uh, you know, I hear a lot of good things and uh, I can see by my eyes what's going on in Malaysia. That's why you can speak about some teams in Malaysia, 
but you cannot ignore Thailand, Indonesia, and Vietnam. You can you speak about these clubs also? How many clubs over there also pay higher than here? The Malaysia League also quite good pay among them. Among. Okay, this is hot story right now. I think uh, the rumors right now, your client, Sony Saad and Osman got so many offer for the second yeah. transfer window. Yeah. But uh, you already posted right, they are commit yeah. until the end of this year. Maybe you can share a bit yeah. about the offer. Maybe in Malaysia also have outside offer? Yeah. For Sony, uh, when I started to in Malaysia, I got a lot of attack. My friends, Asians, said our oh, wrong signing. But I always believe in my players because ex footballer. He will like he have long vision of the players. I know he will be the right uh, way to go and score a lot of goals in the Malaysian League. So after we start to score, I know some of us coming soon. And Osmani also is how he very sold in the midfield. One of the very strong players. And also I have my player uh, Dizon also. I'm talking about him so called Dizon. He was one of the good players, but because of you know slots. He don't have a chance to play. But Sony got good offers from Malaysia outside. Sony also. Oh, okay. uh, Osmani, sorry. Uh, you know, uh, Binang. Uh, Binang, you see, one of, the, one of our good team, you know. So we need to support Binang also. Not only we have offers, we need to go. No. We need to also look uh, after the management, after the coaches, after the fans. We need to follow the contract. Sure. So we cannot terminate and just go because of a good payment, you know. So I tell my best to just play until the end of the season. After this, we can ask uh, Binang, you know, uh, and we can see what uh, what will happen later. Oh, their contract both until this end of the year. Oh, December. okay. So it's possible that uh, next next year will he will move. You know, actually, Binang, if he asked me to renew for two players, we want to give the. Uh, oh. Uh, contract with Tony and Osmani for the next year. Uh, it's early to decide. Uh, I think maybe you can share a bit, uh, a bit about. I think Sony side get the big offer right, in big team in Malaysia, right? In Malaysia, one of the biggest team here. I don't want to say names, <laughs> but uh, in uh, in uh, you know, uh, inter get interesting from three, four other clubs. Uh, good day also. I said also too early to talk because you know you need to focus with Binang because you know he have a point. You know? need to be professional. You need to uh, focus until last minute. All right, I think that's all. Sheko, thanks for your time. Uh, maybe next time we can invite you to our studio. We can talk more about in podcast. Sure, anytime, bro. Sure, anytime. So, uh, uh, every during the game match day, you come to stadium. Yes, I go watch uh, most of the games in the stadium. Uh, which team, Penang or...? I follow KL, Stilang or... I sometimes... Uh, I will program. meet you at stadium. Lah. After this, Stand you right. can text me your WhatsApp number. My pleasure, bro. Thanks Good for your time. You. Really appreciate Thank it. you so much. Thank you. Right. Assalamualaikum. All the best. Bye-bye. See you, bro. See you, bro.